My name is Aidan Ayakuze. I am a Tutu Fellow from the first class 2006. I'm from Tanzania and I work with an organization called Society for International Development and a small uh, boutique consulting firm called Serengeti Advisors, so we're based in Dar es Salaam. I think very simply, I'd like Africa to be um, seen as a place of capable people, or ambitious, uh, innovative, um, courageous uh, people. Africa has a, a huge host of challenges, but I think also a massive opportunity to really take its place on the global stage um, and I think uh, going cap in hand or being seen as a place where only bad things happen such as Ebola or famine or, or irresponsible government uh, I think is a bit of a story that we need to be able to change. I'm not going to say it's a story of the past but I think it's a story that we need to now uh, deliberately uh, go out and change by being effective uh, on the ground and bringing about that change. Becoming a Tutu Fellow has changed two things in the way I look at becoming a, an effective leader. One is realizing that actually um, I, I can uh, be an effective uh, leader um, and to be able to lead people with, with ideas um, to a particular goal, hopefully uh, a positive and productive goal. Um, but the second thing also, uh, you realize the, with humility the responsibility that that carries uh, with it. Uh, and so. I have been working ever since, you know, nine years ago, um, to become rather more uh, humble um, about about the responsibility that that carries, uh, and 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 have hope use that humility to become more effective. To understand that actually I cannot do everything, and to be honest, it's been a very big struggle uh, because one has the instinct of I can do this, so therefore I will do it. But then that doesn't make you a leader, you're a doer and it can be very disempowering uh, for, for people uh, around you. So um, it's an ongoing uh, struggle that I'm having with. The most important challenge that youth in Africa face is to develop a skill set to operate in a 21st century economy. The, in this economy, the world requires innovation, it requires boldness and creativity, it requires the ability to make mistakes and get up and, 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 and move on. Um, it is not a world which welcomes rote learning, which welcomes, uh, which values uh, repeating what you've been told, which uh, values, uh, you know, um, traditional thinking. Um, it's very, it's a very flexible, uncertain, dynamic world. And, uh, but that's not to say that African youth have, have lack all of that. I think in surviving extremely challenging circumstances, they have a natural instinct for doing this. Now, how do you turn that natural instinct for being an entrepreneur and survivalist and, and creative to actually moving to, to a level where it is productive in terms of incomes in their pockets and is also productive in the wider society? So I think that is perhaps the most important challenge that uh, a young, the world's youngest continent now faces. Tanzanian youth have got this reputation for being rather timid um, and, and lacking of self-confidence. And my advice would be this, there is absolutely nothing for them to be timid about or to be uh, and not to be confident about. Um, they are heirs to a, a stable country, they need to maintain that stability. They are heirs to an extremely wealthy country with, with, with good neighbours around who are willing to engage with, with, with them. I think if it would be one thing for, 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 for me to, to, to that Tanzanian youth is, you know, look up and look out and, and, and go grab what you see. Out.